Hi, I'm Christine Benz from Morningstar.com. You have until April 15th to fund an IRA for the 2009 tax year, so all this week I'll be talking to some of Morningstar's experts to get their best ideas for funding an IRA. I'm here today with Miriam Schoblum. Miriam is one of our lead fixed income analysts, and she's also Associate Director of Fund Analysis for Morningstar. Miriam, thanks for being here. Glad to be here, Christine. So, not surprisingly, your best idea, Miriam, is a bond pick. Tell us uh, what it is and why you like it. Well, I'm picking Loomis Sales Global Bond, and it's in our world bond category, and it has an overseas bond focus and currency focus. So about how much is in, in foreign denominated bonds versus U.S. bonds? Well, it has about a third in, in U.S. dollar denominated bonds as opposed to two-thirds in non-dollar. So uh, I know one thing that you like about Loomis Sales as a whole is um, the management team here and also some of the analytic resources that they draw upon. Can you talk about what you think makes Loomis Sales so strong from that standpoint? Point. Oh sure. Well, they've got. They're well known for their corporate research capabilities, which Dan Foss and the team at Loomis Sales Bond have taken advantage of for years. And this team, they also own corporates in the fund. About a third of the fund is in corporates, so they also get to take advantage of those same resources. But they also have a very good sovereign um, and quantitative analyst team that definitely come definitely comes into play here. So one question that comes to mind is why one might choose this fund versus the big, better known fund, Loomis Sales bond, which also has a sleeve of, of foreign, maybe especially emerging markets bonds. Why would one look at this fund versus that better known fund? Well, the Loomis Sales Bond Fund is uh, much more aggressive than this fund on the credit risk front. Uh, front. Right. And as we saw in 2008, credit risk was really the dominant factor in the market. And the Loomis Sales Bond Fund really got hurt that year. It lost about 22 percent. This fund, lighter on the credit risk, it lost about 9 percent. So still painful, but not nearly as painful. So another related question, Miriam, and a lot of investors I know have been grappling this, with this question. Why would you want non-dollar exposure in your portfolio? Why do you think it's it's an important source of diversification for investors? Well, we hear plenty of fund managers here talk about the next decade for bonds not rivaling the, the previous right. really outstanding decade for bonds. So, you know, one of the big issues is the Treasury and its, it's a growing deficit, growing financing needs. Just this year, the U.S. Treasury plans to issue anywhere from one and a half trillion to two trillion in Treasuries. That's not exactly a good uh, factor for, for Treasury investors. So sure. you know, now's a good time to consider opportunities, um, just not narrowing your opportunity set. Right, so just another source of diversification for a portfolio. Well, Miriam, thanks so much. Sounds like an interesting pick. Thank you, Christine. Thanks for watching. I'm Christine Benz from Morningstar.com. At Morningstar, we feel it is important to schedule regular checkups of your investments. This is the reason we're pleased to announce Portfolio Monitor, a new and easier way to keep track of your investments. With a few clicks of the mouse, receive a monthly report that provides a comprehensive and customized summary of your portfolio, sent automatically to your inbox. Portfolio Monitor provides a concise digest of all the best features of premium membership. Become a premium member with our 14-day free trial to start receiving Portfolio Monitor today.